हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अतुल कुमार वैभव एमबीबीएस फ्रॉम एम्स पटना आई सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ 694 इन नीट पीजी 2025 एग्जामिनेशन इन माय फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट एंड ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ 2579 इन आईएनआईसीटी मे 2025 सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू माइट बी नोइंग इफ यू वुड हैव बीन फॉलोइंग द चैनल दैट आई एम आल्सो प्लानिंग टू गिव द आईएनआईसीटी नवंबर 2025 अटेम्प्ट एंड सिंस एनबीएमएस/मेडिकल काउंसिल कमेटी हैज नॉट रिलीज द शेड्यूल ऑफ नीट पीजी 2025 काउंसिलिंग इट हैज बिकम ऑल द मोर रीजनेबल टू अटेम्प्ट द आईएनआईसीटी नवंबर 2025 एग्जामिनेशन सो फ्रेंड्स एंड इफ यू वुड हैव बीन फॉलोइंग द channel you might be knowing that i also post my strategy uh, for inict november 2025 in this channel i post videos regarding what i did in the last 7 days or last 10 days so in this video also i will be posting uh, about whatever i studied what questions i made uh, in the last 7 days plus uh, the most important thing which i am going to share in this video is my last 30 days preparation strategy for inict november 2025 so let's begin so you might be knowing that i am following the btr test and discussion schedule as my primary uh, schedule and the second schedule which i am following uh, or had planned to follow is the uh, inict 3.0 tnd schedule of cerebellum so what i did uh, in the last week that is from 1st october to 7th october so first of all i did a uh, daily 50 mcqs as you might be knowing i always talk about this in my videos that i solved the uh, daily i solved 50 mcqs marrow custom module and these custom modules come in a whatsapp group okay so uh, those custom modules i solve every day and those custom modules are of various subjects like every day a new subject is there so uh, that uh, that is my habit which i try to maintain throughout that whatever happens these 50 mcqs i have to solve so these i have solved uh, without fail for the last 7 days every day now next thing which i did is watching the tnds yes i i would have told you in my previous videos that i had decided to go in the conventional way that first i read a particular subject and after that i'll attempt the test and then i'll watch the video but it uh, it became too hectic to do so and it might be the same case for many of you too that you would not uh, be getting you might not be getting time to you know give the tests and then review uh, the videos so what i decided instead because a lot of backlogs were happening so i decided that instead of giving the test and most importantly since i had given many tests of 1.0 to 6.0 uh, of btr so many questions are uh, repeated in this okay and ma'am ma'am has also told that she has selected the best questions from end 1.0 to 6.0 and put in the current tnd cycle that is going on so Uh, instead of marking the same questions uh, again and again i uh, decided to brush up to revise the same concepts through the te test and discussion videos instead so instead of giving the test and discussion i uh, this week i decided that i will watch the tnd videos instead i will not give the test i'll just watch the videos so what videos i watched i watched the videos of um, uh, micro tnd tnt tnd psyche tnd anesthesia anatomy and derma so total of 1 2 3 4 5 6 the so total six subjects uh, tnd i videos i watched okay so as you can see that i although i watched six videos still a lot of videos uh, are remaining okay a lot of videos i have not watched uh, which are which i have to still watch and from this list i think almost all videos i have to watch except the psychiatry one the first one okay so this i'll try to complete in the coming days apart from that what i did this week is i gave two grand tests so let's go through them quickly so first uh, grand test i gave of dg nerve app okay dg nerve again free gt was there so i gave the free dgd and i scored 164 correct 36 incorrect and uh, rank summary is 11 out of 74 this is the predicted rank whatever they are giving so uh, what happened actually is that in the, the questions were quite easy in this test but what happened is that i had to attend two very important calls while the gt was still going on which took up around i think 45 minutes of my time but nevertheless score was pretty decent but the exam was also not that hard now coming to the second gt that i gave uh, that was marrow grand test 3 and in that my uh, score uh, inict based grand test 3 um, 146 correct 54 incorrect 98.76 percentile 133rd rank out of 10646 so not that bad not that good so this was what i did this week now my 30 days plan okay so final 30 days study so how much time i have decided to give i have decided to give 10 to 12 hours per day okay because as the days will progress I will have to increase uh, the time duration, and it will happen the same with you also. Okay, as the days will progress, you will automatically increase your time duration. Okay, you will not know, but you will do it uh, subconsciously also. So now coming to the schedule. So what will be the uh, what will be my schedule? So I have I will make my schedule, and I am not going to post uh, the schedule here because no no one follows anybody else's schedule, right? Even if I post the schedule, no one will follow it. Everyone is going to follow their own schedule. So I am not going to post the schedule. But what I am going to post in this video is much more important than that. That is what all things. i will try to cover in this one month and what all things you should cover in this month because there are a lot of things that are coming in the internet okay uh, many uh, lrr sessions are going to come there uh, there will be a lot of marathons and what not okay so what all things you should cover that i'll suggest in this video so i will declutter the things for you so schedule you should make your own schedule and follow your own schedule but what to follow in that schedule what all content to include that i'll tell in this video so uh, first a few points when you going when you are going to make your own schedule you must remember that the schedule should be realistic that uh, that what does this mean the schedule should first of all the schedule should be ambitious okay it should be ambitious because uh, if it is not that ambitious then you will uh, you know be very relaxed and lazy so it, it should be a little ambitious but it should not be overwhelming and over ambitious which you cannot complete so that is what realistic means it should not be very little it should be amb ambitious definitely so that it keeps you on on your toes but it should not be over ambitious and over burdening which you can't complete now second thing you should not devote too much time on a single subject because 19 subjects you have to complete you have like 1.5 days per subject so you should not devote too much time on a single subject now Re, uh, revisit the subject in a few days what does this mean this means that if for example if you do anatomy today then uh, remember to revisit anatomy to revise your notes 
uh, in uh, two to three days or four days like that. Okay, you should revisit your subjects. You should continuously revise. Uh, if you don't do this, then you know what will happen, right? In the first, uh, if you will start anatomy, and in a few days you will forget anatomy. So this should not happen. You should continuously revisit your subjects. Now, next thing is organized revision. The revision should not be haphazard. Like uh, you are starting anatomy, you read uh, a little anatomy, then you switched to physiology, then you read physiology for uh, like one uh, one hour, and then you switched to biochemistry. Don't do this. It should be organized revision, subject by subject. So, for example, when you once you complete complete um, uh, anatomy, then switch on to physiology, then switch on to biochemistry like that. Or you can uh, you can have different combinations of subjects or different order as per your convenience. For example, you can have anatomy, surgery, orthopedic, radiology together, then physiology, ph pharmacology, and medicine together like that. So it should be an organized revision so that it uh, stays in your mind better. Okay, if you do the revision in an organized manner, things tend to remain uh, in your brain for a longer duration of time. Now, don't view new stuff. That's very important. Do not uh, watch new videos or new stuff. You rely on whatever you have done in these past few months, and that will help you the most. Now, be minimalistic means do not go for grand resources like you never ever go for something which you cannot complete go for short things short things like short revision courses for example btr or for example lrr like that now when you of you might ask should i give uh, do rr then rr is pretty long okay so uh, short courses should be preferred rr is pretty long if you have done already rr then you can watch the notes okay if you would have highlighted some important things in the notes then you can quickly go through the notes of the rr but do not try to sit and watch complete rr it is impossible to complete okay so do not uh, uh, do uh, things like that now focus on short courses whatever you have done either btr or lrr or uh, dbt anything okay now next thing is don't view new faculties now fac this is very important because uh, for example you are uh, weak in medicine and suddenly a friend tells you that follow uh, uh, this teacher is teaching very good uh, medicine and you have never heard about that faculty but until that point and now they are telling now your friends are telling that that faculty teaches very good don't go, fall for that trap okay if for example your medicine is weak the, and if you would if you have uh, done medicine from BDR then follow BDR integrated systems only okay do not fall for the trap and go for some RR videos or marathon videos or mm, any short uh, videos of uh, faculties which you have never heard of before or uh, of you or you would have heard about them but you you have never studied from them so, okay so do not uh, fall for the trap now next thing is do a well balanced preparation well balanced means you must be watching the videos the revision videos and all or LRR videos or whatever BDR videos apart from that you should uh, take out time for MC and it could be in any proportion like 50% videos 50% MCQs or maybe 60% MCQs and 40% videos or maybe 70% uh, videos and 30% MCQs the time you should allot according to yourself and your con convenience but MCQ should be an integral part of your preparation you should not slack on that okay now coming to my th 30 days study last 30 days study if you can take one or two good things from it then well and good okay so let me start by saying that I have divided into two things must do and if time permits like the things which I'll try to do which are must do for me and then there are some things I have put in the list which if time permits then I'll do those things so what are in the must do list so first is the BTR 2.0 I will I have decided to go through the BTR 2.0 videos once again now why videos why not notes because I uh, notes are too boring for me okay it has always been like that I feel too bored reading the notes and I get easily distracted maybe I pick up the phone in between maybe I do something else in between so I get easily distracted while reading notes so I try to read I try to watch videos only and uh, so I will be doing BTR 2.0 videos. Now you might be asking that is it even possible? So you know right that ma'am teaches all the subjects in the four days in the offline BTR sessions. So why can't we do the uh, BTR 2.0 online videos uh, uh, sitting in our homes at our own comfort? Okay, so we can do if we are determined to do so. So I will once again go and plus it's my revision. It's not my first go. So I'll watch it in 2x. Okay, I'll watch it in 2x. And now what about active recall? I have never done active recall in the conventional way as people tell. Okay, I, how I do active recall is that when I hear the videos, I just like sometimes close my eyes and try to remember the things. Or as ma'am uh, says something, then if she's gonna say something in uh, future like next line, then I try to remember in my mind. Okay, so this should be in the next line. Like I do active recall while watching the videos so this is a very good technique you can also try it now next is that i will be watching the extra edge videos although ma'am has told that she has taken the extra edge questions the best questions and put it in the current tnd cycle but still i found extra edge to be quite helpful during my need preparation so i will be watching extra edge videos also of, of course at 2x now uh, now next thing is uh choti copy I have not made any shorty copy of myself, but I use the shorty copy uh, notes of Mam only. Okay, in the uh, video section, if you go, there is this shorty copy series. They had removed it once, but they had now again put it back. And so I will use I will be using that shorty copy notes only. If there are some things uh, to be added, I can I, uh, I have added. Okay, some things I have added, but mostly it is the original one only. So. Uh, this shorty copy thing I will do before solving any GT. So I will talk about the frequency of GTs that I will be giving. So before attempting those GTs, I'll devote like three to four hours going through the shorty copy so that the uh, volatile concepts get clear in my mind, get refreshed in my mind. Now, next thing is that I will be doing the TND videos as you might, uh, as I've told you already that I have done uh, six videos. I will be doing the rest of them too. Okay, the current cycle, the TND current cycle that is going on. Now, what about 1.0 to 6.0? No, I will not be watching the 1.0 to 6.0 videos because as ma'am has told many times that the good questions from these things have already been included in the TND uh, of the current session that is going on. So, but I will try to watch the GTs. Okay, there were BDR GTs in the 1.0 to 6.0. I will try to watch the GTs, preferably uh, of 6.0, 5.0 and uh, maybe uh, 2.0. Because these were, I think, I, as far as I remember, they were very good. So, I will try to watch uh, them. Okay, now, next is the compiled modules. Now, which compiled modules I put in the must know? Or must must do list. So it is the Robbins, the graphs, formulae, buzzwords, infections, emergencies. This emergencies is very very important. I think for the November INICT. So then scores and classifications, cross sections, cancers, and integrated pharma. Integrated pharma is one of the best I think videos out there uh, on the app. So I, I absolutely love this app, uh, integrated pharma video. So that I'll watch. Then I'll watch Bailey and Love video, Park video, Guy video. Then towards the end, the last three to four days, I'll watch the mega INICT of the BTR, which uh, of course I think Mam will uh, conduct uh, live. So now. Uh, next thing next thing is this one if time permits if time permits these compiled modules i'll do means these compiled modules are not that necessary but if time will permit i'll do them there is a first aid grace guidance 
OBG, Shaw, and Datta instruments and histopathology. Yes. So these compiled modules, if time permits, then I'll do. But these compiled modules, which are a lot, but they are very, very, very important. I'll try to complete uh, in my preparation. Okay. So now again, returning to the uh, if time permits list. Now in this list, I have also put uh, DAMS, uh, INI, CT, TND. So if time permits, then I would do DAMS, INI, CT, TND, and LRR of either DAMS or prep ladder only of my weak subjects. And you should be doing this also. Like if you are having any weak subject, okay, you wanted to supplement from somewhere, then you can easily go through the LRR video. So earlier I have told you that you must not be uh, visiting new faculties uh, for content, right, uh, in this time period. But you must, you can visit the same faculty for new content. That is, if you are studying already from a particular faculty, and if that faculty is posting some new content like LRR or something on uh, YouTube or uh, like that, then you can definitely go and visit the, the same faculty, okay. So for example, I will be visiting Preeti Ma'am's LRR because Preeti Ma'am's LRR for microbiology and uh, pathology is best, okay. I think it is best anywhere. So I will be revisiting uh, maybe the old LRR of hers or maybe the new LRR which will come. So you can also do the same thing. You can, for your weaker subjects or for more volatile subjects, you can, uh, you know, watch the short courses like LRR or DBT or something like that if you wish to, okay. Now coming to questions. So what questions to solve in these days? So since it is INICT, so the main focus should be on PYQ slash PYTs because these tend to repeat a lot in INICT. So you might now be asking that should we do of neat PG also? Should we do of FMG also? So my suggestion is that only do the PYQs of INICT and then read through the explanations of those topics which you find difficult. So like that, you will cover the PYQs also and the PYTs also. So at least the last 10 years questions you must be doing in the, these days. And the very important thing which many people don't tell you is the bookmarks. And I have around 2000 question bookmarks. So instead of going through some custom modules or going through the Q banks or some subject text like that, I, I have decided to go through my bookmark questions. And my bookmark questions, I think, is uh, I have compiled over these uh, years including from my you know mbbs days so uh, i think it will cover almost each and every volatile topic or weak topics of mine so you should also do the same if you are having bookmarks if you already have your content you have you know very uh, through your hard work you have compiled all these good questions then you must not go uh, let them uh, go to waste you must uh, revisit them you must revisit your bookmarks in this in this final month so that's what i will be doing the past pyqs and bookmarked questions now next thing next question that arises: should you be doing some subject test then you are already doing a tnd right if you are already watching a tnd video or doing a tnd then the separate subject test you do not need to give instead focus on bookmarks and pyts and pyqs now another important thing this gt custom module things what is this so you if you have if you would have given like uh, five to ten gts in the past or even more than that then what you can do is create a custom module in uh, every two to three days uh, of like for example 50 questions consisting of only the gt questions and the, uh, you can put the uh, tag or the tick mark at the incorrect questions and those questions which you have put bookmarks for the gt questions okay so uh, you can create a custom module of your gt questions 50 questions in two to three days every two to three days consisting of incorrect questions and your bookmark questions. So this will cover your previous GT questions which you had done wrong or you had put bookmark, okay? So this is a custom module which you can create. Now, next question, how many GTs should you give? Then I have decided to give two GTs per week, okay? So uh, that should be the ideal thing which you must be doing. Or uh, if not, if not possible, then one week, one GT per week is also, do, you can also do that, okay? Now, you try to give the live GTs and try to give those free GTs and mocks which are coming on different platforms. Yes, do not stick to a particular platform, one platform. Now is the time when many platforms will be releasing their free mocks. Try to give them all, okay, as much as possible. Maybe PW Meded might release one, maybe uh, Doc Tutorial may release one, maybe some other platform will release one, PrepLadder will release, okay. So like that, if you go through the, these websites and see if the upcoming if there are any upcoming free GTs, free mocks, try to give them. Because it is very necessary to give from different platforms so that there is no platform bias, okay, and you feel confident in exam. If you will uh, score consistently good in these GTs, then your confidence will increase many folds. Okay, so one very important question which comes in the minds of many aspirants is whether to watch the predictor videos on YouTube. Okay, many channels will be uh, posting these predictor question videos. So I would suggest that do not uh, consider them, uh, don't take them to heart, okay. But you can definitely watch them in your free time. Now what is free time? In our preparation, the free time is that time when you get bored of your usual stuff. When you get, when you get bored of your usual revision, then you can watch these uh, predictor videos in your leisure time. So that, uh, that can be done. And predictor videos pre prefer only to watch from a, uh, one channel. For example, watch from dance, okay, but not from uh, several other channels which are available on YouTube. Don't uh, start watching each and every predictor uh, video. So this is what I will be doing in these last 30 days of my preparation. So if you have any specific doubts regarding your preparation or uh, any suggestions you want to ask, then you can ask in the comment section. Plus many more strategy videos will come in this channel. So uh, if you like the video, you can like, share, and for more such videos, you can subscribe the channel. My final message to you is that you must not get stressed in these last 30 days. Just be cool, be relaxed, just revise your stuff, just Every day, try to be consistent and push your limits now. Okay, now is the time to push your limits. Do not ever let self-doubt come into your mind and you will, you and I will definitely crack this exam with flying colors, with good ranks. And we shall, that is you and I, will definitely get into an INI, that is Institute of National Importance. So, best of luck. Thanks for watching.